of the desert, the heat, the awful heat. Oh, why doesn't this madness come to me? For six days now they haven't brought our rations. No. Why? 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 They never come. Why don't they bring them? Oh, my little Dios, help me. Don't let me die in this grave. Let me die above ground. Oh, you fool on me. Oh. I'm afraid to die. Afraid. Oh. Come now, Ramon, old chap. Easy. Easy. You forgive me, senor. Truly. Of course I do. God will not punish me for what I've done to you. I don't think so, Ramon. I don't think so. I'm afraid. I'm going. <laughs> Here, quickly, quickly. <laughs> oh, perdóname, madre. you, didn't he? Well, he recognized me. He did what I suppose he thought was his duty. Yes, he identified you as the deserter from Fort Tenderness. He sold you, didn't he? For 30 pieces of silver. This Judas, this Ramon Gonzalez. And you forgive him. Comfort him. Why? Perhaps it was a bow ideal of yours. Hey, Smith? Yes. Perhaps that's it. Bow ideal? What's that? Ideal? Ideal. Bow ideal. A beautiful ideal. We have only three matches left. The Spaniards shall have two as candles. One at his head and the other at his feet. Take mine. I have saved a little. 
Oh, no, Jacob. Not yours. I won't need it. There are only three of us left now. I am joining the others. One more corpse won't bother you. Again, will you? I only said, stout fellow. Well, your name's not Smith. It's Jess. John. John Jess. I found you. Found you at last. John. John, you can't die. You mustn't die. Think of Isabel. Isabel. Isabel! I found him and he's dying. He's dying, Isabel. And I can't bring him back. Isabel! Isabel! Your boy, Miss Madison, and my daughter, too. See how happy they are together. Patrick, I now confer upon you the highest honor for bravery that can be bestowed on man or beast. I 
Avenue will be a little stuffy after this. Mother! Mother! Mother, must we go back to America so soon? Yes, dear, we must. Couldn't Nora stay here with us, Mother, dear? Please, Aunt Patricia. Oh, Mrs. Madison. Oh, Aunt Pat. Please, Mrs. Madison. I'm sorry, Isabel, dear, but his father has cabled us to come home immediately. And come home we must. <laughs> come along, Otis. There isn't much time. Bye, boy. Bye. Bye, John. We'll Bye. come to him. Bye, Digby. Bye, Isabel. You'll come back soon. I know you will. Nice American boy. Oh, yes. I'm in, Mother. Pardon? You're right, won't you? Bye. 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 We won't Bye. forget Bye. you. Bye. 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 Is Lady Brandon at home? No, sir. Her ladyship is not at home. Oh? And Miss Isabel? Not at home, sir. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? I thought I'd surprise them. Came all the way from America. Didn't have the sense to figure that they might not be at home. Well, thanks. Miss Brandon. Yes. Don't you remember me? I know. I... Mm. Think back a few years. Well, the only American I. Why, Otis! Yes. Uh, uh, oh, a nice little American boy. Uh, oh. Burden, take Mr. Madison's horse, too. Yes, Miss. Oh, do come and sit down. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, so am I. Very glad. <laughs> Do you know, it sounds silly, but I've kept every one of your letters. Oh, don't tell me they were worth keeping. I love them. <laughs> Childhood memories, you know. Oh, by the way, how stout fellow. The dog with the broken leg. Remember? Oh, you mean Patrick. Yes. <laughs> Poor old Patrick. He lived to a ripe old age. And Bo just then gave him the loveliest funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Dear old Bo, how is he? And Digby, John, bless them. Why don't you answer me? They've gone, Otis. Gone? You see, they they joined the Foreign Legion. Foreign Legion? Oh, but why not your own splendid British army? Something went wrong at home. Something brought dishonor on the family. Well, Bo took the blame and went away. Let's go. Bo? Then Digby followed. He wanted to share it. And then... Then John... Dear John. Isabel. You know, don't you, that, that now that Bo is digging me, no, John, was capable of dishonor. Well, of course I know. Now, they, they did everything together. So they joined the Foreign Legion together. Mm -hmm. When, when was that, Isabel? More than a year ago. And you hadn't seen them since then? I saw John, only a few weeks ago, at Oran. He was being court-martialed. 
tell me now. How long have you known each other? Since we were little children. Now, Miss Brandon, under what name have you always known this man, John Smith? John. John Jeff. That's all. Thank you, Miss Brandon. Engineer Raymond Gonzalez. You realize you're on the road, don't you? Yes, my captain. You knew this man then as John Smith? Yes, sir. I drilled by his side for weeks. When did you see him last? The day I reported him as a deserter. And when did you see him before that? The day he left for Fort Sindanov with his company. Uh, Captain, under whose command? Sergeant Lejeune. That's all. Your two brothers were with you at Fort Zindernis in the same company, weren't they? What became of them? They died, my colonel. With the others. You admit, do you, that during the attack on Fort Zindernis by the Arabs, you stabbed your superior officer? <coughs> yes! 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 Quiet, my boy. Quiet. Don't give way. Why? Tell me why. Because it was a swine, an inhuman blackguard. He struck my brother down when he was wounded. Badly wounded. Struck him down with his fist. And then he kicked him. So I killed him. That's all. Kevin, that's all right. Don't, don't. Gentlemen, you're all against me. It's true, this legionnaire killed his superior officer in the heat of passion. But we must not forget that the officer himself was to blame for striking one of his men. Would not the penal battalion be punishment enough? I do it again. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Legionnaire John Smith. It is the decision of this court martial that you shall serve ten years at hard labor in the penal battalion of the French Foreign Legion. It 
might have been worse, my boy. Much worse. John! John! No! Oh, no, John, no! No, no! Come on, Something be done. Your your State Department. No, no, we tried everything. But I think of him in, in some awful hole in Africa. The penal battalion. That awful heat. That thing. We were to have been married on soon. Isabel, I'm the only one of Beaujest's band left. I'm going to find John. Oh, oh, but you can't. He's a prisoner in some terrible place in Africa. I know of a way. I'll find him and bring him back to you. But they wouldn't let you get near him. Listen, Isabel, as soon as I can get things arranged, I'll leave for France. Oh, just dear, I... I can't let you. I can't let you. You can't help yourself. And besides, now... Well, anyway, it will give me a new interest in life. Don't you see? And from France, I'll go to Africa. And then... From right to left, count your numbers. Huh? Zwei. Tria. Dollar. Hands up. Yes. Seven. Otto. Nueve. Diez. Elf. Duanasti. Thirteen. Thirteen. You are number 13? Yes, sir. But Isn't that supposed to be an unlucky number? I hope not, sir. So do I. American? Yes, sir. Ah. Thirteen. Back of hand. Stop low. Stop low. Quit them. Carto. Dissinuevi. Ramon Gonzalez. Yes, sir. Re-enlistment, eh? Yes, sir. Ah. Well, you're a pretty sorry-looking lot. But when I get through with you, you'll be like my boys here. All right, Sergeant. Dismiss them. Dismiss! I'm not going to ask any of you why you joined the Legion. That question is never asked here. Twice. Stick them under the shower, Sergeant. They need it. Then you'll get your uniform. And tomorrow, at sunrise, a smart drill. 
All right, Sergeant. Right, please. All right. Number 13. Number 13. Yes, sir. Your name's Brown, isn't it? Yes, sir. Brown. <laughs> That's the usual name for an American in the Legion. Funny, isn't it? None of them ever think of green or gray. <laughs> There's a great opportunity in the Legion for an American or an Englishman of your type, my boy. Well, thank you, sir. That's all, Brown. Run along. Yes, sir. had a hard day, and you've done very well. All of you who want to can go into Zagwig tonight. No brawls, mind you. Back in barracks, lights out at 10 o'clock. You know the regulations. Don't break them. None of you want to join the penal battalion, do you? Huh? <laughs> All right, Sergeant. This Mr. Hey, John! It's me! Take the next piece off, will yes, you, Brown? Sir. I think I'm wearing my white tunic. Yes, sir. No, never mind. I'll do this, Brown. Yes, sir. Brown? Why do you think I made you my batman? Why, just to be decent to me, sir? <laughs> I'd just like to have you around. By the way, sir, this, this penal battalion you were talking about, what did all those men do to get in there? Oh, desertion, sedition, insubordination. Well, I mean, continued insubordination. Why? What do you care? Just wondering. You just give me a suck on the jaw on parade one morning. You won't wonder anymore. You'll be in the penal battalion. <laughs> Want to come along with me? Oh, yes, sir. I'd like to. Where may I ask? Oh, I have to join Major Labote at the Emir's Palace. Got to cater to that Arab gentleman. Tremendous influence with the tribes. Loyal friend of France and all that sort of thing. My cap, please. I'd like to come along as my bodyguard? Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Come on. You know, Brown, it's not just the thing in the Legion for the adjutant to hobnob with a private, but, uh, oh, well, we're brothers under the skin, aren't we? Huh? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Allah is good, Major, in that you have deigned to honor me with your presence. I am grateful. It is France who is grateful, Kai, for your generous and powerful influence among the tribes. I am but a humble servant of your great country, Major. My house and all within it are yours. In your honor, I have arranged a simple entertainment. Oh, your adjutant. May he not be my guest also? All right, Frederick. Thanks, my major. I have a comrade with me, sir. A private. Uh, an American and, uh, well, one of us. An American? I am doubly honored. All right, Lee Chanel. Thank you.
if you can see where the Aeneas interest lies. Half French, half Arab. The Arabs take us seriously. In fact, they're superstitious about us. Others before the Emir, you left to tell the tale. They call her the Angel of Death. I have just received good news, Major. Yes, Your Excellency. I understand you are sending a company to occupy the fort at the deserted town of Kida. We are, Your Excellency. I have just been assured that the villages through which you must pass will give you no trouble. Thank you, Your Excellency. Adjutant? Yes, sir. Get your men ready to leave immediately. Yes, sir. Come on, Brown. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Your Excellency. We shall not forget your loyal service. Present! Hold! Soldiers of the Legion! You are about to occupy a fort 30 miles from here. You will be the guardians of 200 miles of desert country. I know every man will do his duty. Remember the motto of the Legion. We are hard, but we are just. Order, hold! Right shoulder, hold! Right by four. Hurt. Never forget, never forget, never forget, 
anymore while we're marching, boys. We've got a long way to go. I'll give you plenty of time for that during the rest period. No stopping, I said. Isn't the sand in your lungs enough? <laughs> Insubordination. That's uh, twice now. Want to ride straight through to the penal battalion? Is that what you're driving at? Well, that's it, eh? Very well, then. When you're ready, just give me that suck on the jaw I told you about. I may put a bullet in your gizzard first. Oh, get back into line, there's a good fellow. Save yourself. Rip step! Burn!
the desert and die of thirst. It's over, men. A short march, and we're there. A short march? And we're where? You lost us. You're killing us. Brown, take command. Shoot any man who disobeys you. March straight into the wind. Due south. Stand by me, all loyal men. No, don't mind me. I'm all right. I'm all right. Stop pulling. Get in line, you coward. No. Not another step. Not another step. Run up. Hold it. No. No. Hold it. I tell you. No. <laughs> Andreas, hold in. No. Hold in, I tell you. No. Oh! Adjutant Frederick's company. He's in trouble. Looks like a mutiny.
something. No water. Mutiny. Desert madness. Not their fault. This man is... We're gonna pick it up. So, you're the ringleader. Yes, my captain. I'm the ringleader. No, 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 my captain. Then it's you who tried to stop the mutiny. Yes, yes. yes. That's me. I am the ringleader. These men tried to defend their officer. They are innocent, every one of them. We're innocent, my captain. We're innocent. No, no my captain. No, 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 no my captain. No, no, no. no. Really I fire fire the man. That is for the court martial to decide. Pitch on! Line up those men and take their names. Come in. Double X, facing me. And turn. Yes, sir. Turn. Your name. Enrico Silva. Ivan Badenev. Carl Meyer. Jacob Levine. Ramon Gonzalez. Philip Brown. It is the decision of this court martial that you shall serve ten years at hard labor in the penal battalion of the French Foreign Legion. Put this lot in the grain pit. Make out your report, Sergeant. I'm getting tired of these mutinies. When the Colonel gets here, we'll have a drumhead court martial. And then, with your backs to a stone wall, you'll face a firing squad. That's all. Let's face! Wait a minute, right through!
tough fellow. What did you say? Say that again, will you? I only said, Smith fellow. Your name's not Smith. It's Jess. John. John Jess. Oh, I found you at last. John. John, you, you can't die. You mustn't die. Think of Isabel. Matate tigar a bala. Lika. Not a convict, not a legionnaire left alive. The work was well done. Εμπρός, τι γίνεται. Ισοπέλ. Ισοπέλ. I found him and he died. He's dying, Ισοπέλ. And I can't bring him back. Ισοπέλ. Isabel! Be this place. Yalla. I'm the name of Allah, a drop of water. I'm dying of thirst. Elba! You're fortunate to be alive, my friend. Quite true. Your imprisonment was your salvation. There has been another religious outbreak. The Mohammedans against the Christians. Every god and convict in this camp has been massacred. My friend. He's dying. I beg of you. Help me to save him. Elba, get on out. You need have no anxiety. Both you and your friends shall want for nothing. Allah is good. He has delivered these two prisoners into our hands to help us in our holy mission. You have sent a messenger to Major Lebody? Just now. Let them warn for nothing. Let them suspect nothing.
And then, in the grain pit, when you spoke those two familiar words, I knew it was you, and, well, you know the rest. Otis, old lad, you did all this for me. Oh, Isabel shouldn't have let you. She didn't have anything to say in the matter, old boy. Gave me something to do in life. Let me have a puff, old chap, will you? Oh, well, sorry. I'm just dying for her. Otis, you love Isabel. Oh, how you must love her. Does she love you? Isabel love me? Why, boy, she loves any old pair of shoes you may have left at home better than anything in the world. Don't you know that? I see. I understand now. You mean you did all this for Isabel and for me, didn't you? Stout fellow. I remember now. That's what Bo used to say when we were children. The highest honor that can be bestowed on man or beast. Stout fellow. John? John? John! Bonjour, my brave legionnaire. My friend, where is he? The French came and took him. He's an escaped prisoner. And so am I. Why didn't they take me, too? Because, mon ami, I told them you have died. I'm saving you for myself. Perhaps you'll kiss me now, huh? Do you know where they took him? Yes, I know where they took him. They took him to the residency. Where he will die like the other Christian dogs. Where you would be too. But for me... Die? Well, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Today is the day of the big Arab uprising. There will be a surprise attack on the residency before they can prepare. They will be butchered like pigs. The Emir has planned it for a long time. But the Emir is a friend of the French. The Emir hates the French. All the outbreaks and massacres he knows about. You say this happens today? The call to prayer, thousands of the faithful will answer. But under their cloaks, they carry guns and swords. A, a massacre? Yes. A massacre, my handsome friend. Not a Christian will be left alive. Except you, my big American soldier. Perhaps... The treacherous swine. I must warn the residency. John mustn't be lost now. No, mon ami. It's too late. No white man could get to the residency alive now. But the cavalry post. They could save the residency if I got word to them. You will do much to save your friend. Yeah, anything, anything. I will help you save him. If you'll make me one little promise. I'll promise anything. What do you want? I'll tell you. I want to get out of this country. I want to live in Paris. 
I hate these brown skins. But I can't help you get out of here now. Oh, you don't understand. I'll get you out. And when you come back, you'll take me to Paris when this is finished. You promise? I promise. Now, how are we going to save my friend? I'll get you a dress like an Arab. You go out and mix with the crowd. When you get to the residency, tell them the cavalry will be there. But who'll get word to them? I will. Here, take these. When you go out, cry and pray as they do to Mohammed. When you reach the residency, tell Major Lebedy, cavalry will come and hold out. Are you sure you can get word to the cavalry? You have my promise. When it's all over, you'll come back. I'll come back.
in the next rush. Look at that. When I race the wall, give them the cold steel! Better than the penal battalion, though. Major. Thank you, sir. You arrived just in time. I'd like to thank the men. All this! By the way, Major, I always suspected that Emil of yours. But he won't bother us anymore. No. Picked off by that legionnaire on the end. Penal battalion. Two of them. The game's up, John. Looks like it. Back to the penal battalion for us. Your Alan Folger. All of you. You will not find France ungrateful. Free. Mm -hmm. Full pardon. Both of us. <laughs> what luck, eh? 
Decent of old Leopardy, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, goodbye. Look here, old man. A dancing girl. A half cast. She doesn't expect it of you. Come on home with me, Otis. She kept her promise. Or we wouldn't be here. Now, either of us. You wouldn't want me to break mine, would you, John? And you will take me to Paris? Will I? Baby, I'll take you anywhere. And you will buy me a fine house and an automobile? I'll buy you two automobiles, gorgeous. <laughs> Say, I've come into real dough. And you will marry me? With alimony and everything? Sure, I'll marry you. Why not? But how about this sweetheart of yours? This American legionnaire? Oh, he's no good as a lover. Why should I bother with him now that I have found you? No man has ever loved before like you. Oh, my baby. Mm -hmm. John! John! Wait a minute! It's all right! I'm coming with you!